everyone and welcome. So today, I'm going to be showing my new 3D printer. Now, my last print I um, said that I had in the first video is my dad's or family's, but he was using it too much. So, I took the money and bought my own. So, there we go. I have something printing right now. Um, it's a little holder thing I've created. It says holder on the side. So, yeah. Um, I put, I, my dad already had those three printed and they were for spare. So he had those. These things, guys. These things. Okay, um, these things right here I got. But the I have the Ender 3 Pro. Now, the good thing about the Ender 3 Pro is that, well, right here, oh, no, right here, it has a bigger, it's usually about this big, but this one has bigger, so this thing won't, will wobble around. Okay, um, this thing right here, better. We have a magnetic bed. We have a better power supply. Um more but I'm not thinking of it right now well there's a lot of other things but I got this for about 100 and 200 bucks about and that is the interface that you can do now that right there you can control this all I'm gonna go back to the info screen so this is the cool ender 3 Pro, and I'm going to be doing some cool clips. Uh, I'm going to show you how to use it and how much fun it is to use it. Okay, so hello, right back. everyone, welcome. So today we are going to be showing off how to 3D print something. Now I'm just going to be showing you how to edit it and stuff. So here you go. You have the. This is what I'm using, but we are going to show you how to add it. Now, mm, there is very many things you can choose, but, and then you have other, which you have all this. But if you don't have it in any of that, you come to custom, and you name it. And then you have to know everything about your 3D printer, so it's not going to be fun. You name it, all sorts of stuff. Next, you would come here. Um, let's turn off the and you pop up with this bar right here. You get support, head engine, which is like the surrounding, I'm pretty sure. Um, we got infill, so you can turn that. And then if you want to get really advanced, you turn on this. Now, then you got all this. Now, there's three basic, three types. Basic, so you only have a few things. Advanced. Then you have some more things. Let's see some pop up here. And then, oops. Then, then you get expert. And that pops out a lot more. It seems like there's a little spike. Okay, but that pops out a ton more. And you have all the decisions. I would recommend basic if you just got it, or even recommend it. But you're probably going to have to do something about this. Okay, so there you go. Let's just pop something in. So you click that right there. Go to holder. That's what I'm printing right now on my 3D printer. Now, yeah. So this is it at its full size. You were seeing a miniature version, a tester version, I guess. So, ooh, I just shook this table. So, I actually have it right here. It failed in the middle of the video. Not the video. In the middle of the print. But it doesn't matter. We know it works. The only reason is because I was trying to record a video while I was 3D printing. So it stopped the print. Okay, you have to have a really beefy computer to print and do this at the same time because it's using your CPU to control. So right now, I am using the SD instead. So... Here's my plan. This is what you have to do. So you click on this, and this is how you change the size right here. This is how you rotate it. Rotation, you got here. All sorts of 
sorts of stuff. And then you got normal model print as support. So there's a lot of things. Some of it I don't know how to use. Okay? So this is why you need this, okay? To make sure this prints right. So if I was printing it like this, then you come down here. Let's go to recommend it. It's very easy. Support. And then we press slice. In there. So it's slicing this thing all up, and then it's going to put supports. So then we come over here to preview. And just to tell you guys, I'm using Ultimaker Cura 4.0. Okay. So. Let this thing slice up. See how this thing goes. Okay. Processing layers. You see that. These supports are crucial. You need that whole entire thing of supports and that whole entire thing. So it's not good. Let me turn it on just slice without supports. And now it has to figure out how to print it. Even if it has problems. Because it doesn't notice if it has problems. You're saying in your mind, will this have problems? That's processing the layers. Ugh. So we print like this. So there you go. That's how you do that. You just click on it and press delete in there. And then it, after you start printing it, then you get to a system called monitor. But you have to be printing. And there's all sorts of buttons. But I'm not going to show you that. You'll get used to it. But there is a home button and all sorts of things to control your bed and stuff like that. So let's. Well, that's really all. Hmm. What else? These are point of views right here. So this is bird eye view. This is outstander. Other outstander. Other outstander. This is God Almighty. <laughs> okay. So. I don't know. Well, I guess that's going to be all for this video. So, I hope you had a great time watching. I hope you learned a lot. And I will be showing some more videos about my 3D printer. See you next time on Sir I'm 21. Make sure you subscribe and give me a thumbs up.